Hello, uppercase readers. I am so excited to be sharing Dance with Thieves with you today. It is especially wonderful for me because the first book in my last series, uh, The Remnant Chronicles, was the first book in the uppercase subscription boxes. So I feel like it's just wonderful that it's come full circle and I'm getting to share the first book in a new duology with you. Uh, and that is Dance of Thieves. Uh, I will share a little bit about it with you today, but I just want you to look at the cover. Oh my gosh, I've been in love with this ever since I saw the design work. They did just a beautiful job with this book and I love it. I hope you do too. Uh, anyway, um, this book is a spin-off, so you do not have to uh, read the previous uh, books in the series. Um, the Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness. Uh, that is a different cast of characters, and we have a whole new cast of characters in this book. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Dance of Thieves. Uh, it's told in two alternating viewpoints. First we meet Cassie, and she is an orphan who grew up on the streets of Venda, and she has had to uh, learn to survive by her thievery and by her wit. Uh, she's taken in by the new queen of Venda, and she's trained as a premier soldier. And then she's sent on a secret mission. She has to uncover some dangerous secrets that are being hidden by a powerful dynasty family in a remote kingdom and steal them if she can find them. So, next we meet Jace Ballinger, who is the new leader of that powerful uh, dynasty and he's bent on keeping those secrets. So Jace and Cassie are destined to meet and clash and they do. And then they have just confronted each other uh, and the unthinkable happens. They find themselves running from a mutual enemy in the middle of the wilderness. No shoes, no food, no weapons, nothing. And they're chained together at the ankles. So, it makes for an awkward little arrangement. Uh, you know, I've always wondered what would happen if you took two sworn enemies and threw them in a room with each other and just made them share a meal, be civil for a few hours. And uh, so that was sort of one of the things I played with in the story, except of course I made it worse because that is a writer's joy and prerogative. Uh, so, Cassie and Jace find out some things about themselves and each other, and it changes a lot of their perspective about who and what an enemy is. Uh, so I hope you get a chance to follow along on their journey, and I won't tell you any more. Um, there is, I need to say this, a beautiful map on the inside of the, of the book. Here, I'll show you a close-up. This map was created for uh, the Remnant Chronicles, but then for this book, some new places were added because we visit new places. And you'll see right up here um, is where all of the fun mostly takes place. Tor's Watch, Hell's Mouth, and the Kingdom of Ilandia. And there is another map in the back of the book. Uh, there's just so many beautiful design elements. Uh, I think they did a great job um, designing and putting this book together. And I'm very proud of it. I hope you enjoy uh, the journey. Uh, thank you again to Uppercase for including it in this month's subscription box. And uh, let me know what you think of Jason Cassie. And I'm on social media, so stop by anytime, especially Instagram and share your thoughts with me. And again, thank you so much for reading. Oh, and one last thing. Check out the naked book beneath the dust jacket. Even the spine is beautiful. I know I am a complete book geek, but I enjoy details like this. I hope you do too.